Okay, so let's solve this problem. So the integral of cosine 6x cosine 4x dx. So from trigonometric identity, the 2 cosine a cosine b is equal to cosine a plus b plus cosine a minus b. So from the given cosine 6x cosine 4x, so first we need to rewrite this equation on this form. So we need to multiply 2 for the given. So we have 2 cosine 6x cosine 4x. Since we multiply 2, so therefore we also need to multiply 1 half so that the given won't change. Because if we're going to cancel these two, we still have cosine 6x and cosine 4x. So from this identity and from the given, this is a, this one is b. So 2 cosine a cosine b, so we have 2 cosine 6x cosine 4x equal to this identity. We have 1 half times cosine a plus b or cosine 6x plus 4x then plus cosine a minus b or cosine 6x minus 4x. Then simplify this uh, 6x plus 4x and 6x minus 4x. So we have now 1 half cosine 10x plus cosine 2x. So therefore, this cosine 6x cosine 4x is equal to 1 half cosine 10x plus cosine 2x. So this is now your new equation. Then put this constant outside, so we have 1 half times the integral of cosine 10x plus cosine 2x. Then integrate every term, so we have 1 half times the integral of cosine 10x plus the integral of cosine 2x. Then uh, to get the integral of cosine, so the integral of cosine u is equal to uh, sine u over the derivative of u, that's the du, then plus c. So we have now the integral of cosine 10x, so again the integral of cosine is positive sine, and this is our u, so we have now sine 10x, then the derivative of 10x, that's 10, so over 10. Then plus uh, the integral of cosine 2x, that's sine 2x, over the derivative of 2x, that's 2. Then plus c. So from this equation, so distribute this one half to every term. So we have now one half times sine 10x over 10, plus one half times sine 2x over 2, then plus c. Then simplify, so multiply the denominator, so 2 times 10, that one is 20, so we have sine 10x over 20, and 2 times 2, that's 4, plus sine 2x over 4, plus c. So this is now the answer.